guys, it's Karen with We Go Fishing, and in this video, we go beach fishing as a family, and we catch fish right out of the surf. Stay tuned to the end, and we will show you exactly how we did that. Okay, hey everybody, so you just saw us catch those fish there right out of the surf, those uh, the whiting there, the great eating fish by the way, if you haven't uh, had a whiting before, they are just absolutely great. I'll put a link to a video here, we do a catch and clean and cook on whiting, 
um, but just absolutely phenomenal fish. But I want to show you exactly how we catch them and a couple of things that we use. The first thing is this, fish bites. Um, we found that fish bites are very effective in the surf. They hang on to your hooks very well, much better than live bait or dead bait. Um, they hang on. We've caught just about everything on them, pompano, a whiting, drum, black drum, uh, red drum. We've caught just about everything on, on fish bites. I found the pink color for some reason works out. It just seems to could be just confidence on my part, but it seems to work out a little bit better than the other ones. But I did find the easy shrimp works better, at least here in, in South Texas and the other kinds. Um, but the, the thing about fish bites is they really do stay on your hook very well. They've got a mesh on the inside uh, that really works well. So I would I would say definitely use fish bites when fishing in the surf, um, especially if you're targeting those species, the, the, the whiting and things that do work out really well. Another tip uh, to fishing in the surf is going to be weights. Um, this is a, a sand weight, and the reason why this is better than just your standard pyramid weight is because of these legs. If you notice, on this pyramid weight, you can actually take out the, the legs, and what that allows it to do is when it comes into the sand, it sticks into the sand, and it holds on, uh, which is very effective. So when you're pulling things in, um, it really does help. Uh, to keep the to keep that you can shape them different ways depending on how the wave action is and when they come and dig in um, very very effective for holding uh, for holding bottom while you're in the surf so these types of ways is a four ounce one you get them in different sizes there are there are a couple of bucks each but they're definitely definitely worth it as well the final thing I want to show you is a pompano rig um, this is one of the rigs that that we do use when we're in the surf we find it to be very effective I use circle hooks uh, because circle hooks just tend to work a little bit better. J hooks also work, but the pompano rig is very, very easy to rig. You just use regular mono. Uh, you tie a loop knot, uh, three different loop knots you tie onto the mono line. Uh, so very easy. You're going to have a float and a bead and your hook. And the nice thing is if you need to change out your hooks, maybe it's rust or whatever, all you have to do is take off your loop and uh, it works very well. These floats you can buy. Um, you can actually make them as well. Um, they're very easy to make out of any material. And then you've got your red bead there. you got three of them here on the line with a little swivel at the top. And then you've got a snap at the bottom so that you can snap on your weight. So this works out very well. You can buy them as well. Uh, these are maybe a, a buck or two at Walmart. So they're inexpensive, but you can also make them as well. One thing I do want to show you about these pompano rigs is uh, when you're done fishing, uh, what do you do with them? Because they're out of the thing and they're, they're going to make a mess. So what do you do with them? Well, here's one thing you can do, and I'm going to show this to you. What you can do with these pompano rigs is very simple. What you're going to do is you're just going to wrap them up. Start here at the swivel on the top. Just wrap them up. Make just a couple of turns over your fingers, like so. And then you can do one of two things. You can get these little baggies. Um, they work very well. You can stick them in a little baggie. But the thing about this is it doesn't reseal, so it always comes out when you when you when you bring it out. Um, but this is a little baggie, and you just put the pompano rig right in the baggie, and it sits right there. But here's one of the things I want to show you, and this is a nice little nice little hack for rigs like this. And this is a trading cards. If you ever were you know and when you were a kid, you got trading cards and things, and this is a trading card holder. And you can open up one of the little sleeves of your trading card holder. And you can take your pompano rig, or really any rig, whether it's a bottom rig, redfish rig, whatever, and you can stick them right there in the pocket, uh, just like so. And it sits in there. And the nice thing about this is this is foldable. So you can fold this up, and it can go right in your pocket, just like that. So a very easy thing to do uh, to store these things so they don't get so messed up in the bottom of your tackle box. Thanks for watching. May you always catch your limit.